Hey guys, um, <clears throat> this is my first AP Physics C video. Um, I'm going to explain how to do a rotational dynamics problem. Um, and it says, a block of mass M is hung from a pulley of radius R and mass M and is allowed to fall. What's the acceleration of the block? Um, so, pause the video. Maybe you can come up with your solution. Alright. I'm explain how to do it now. Uh, starting our main goal is to um, find the acceleration of this block in terms. Well, it's not since you're not giving it any numbers, you're just gonna doing it in uh, in terms. So in terms of m and r and m, big m right here. So then, first off, I'm gonna start off with Newton's um, second law, and that is. F net equals ma. Well, we we want to find the acceleration of this block in the downwards direction because it says right here is allowed to fall. So it means this is going down. And so I'm gonna draw a free body diagram here off to the side. We know that there's a force of gravity right here, so it's mg. And then we also know that there's a tension due to this rope right here. So that's, we're going to call that F of T. So next, I'm going to plug in these two values, or these two variables, um, for, this, for this particular equation in the second law. So I'm going to put mg minus sine, oh, sh sorry, mg minus Ft. equals ma. Now, um, pay attention to the order. Look how I put mg minus ft. So it's going down mg, but then ft is restricting that um, acceleration. That is, um, that is because it's inferred that since it's allowed to fall, it's going down. So it, this is going down, but then this ft is what is going to want to make it go up. Let's crush that up more so you don't get confused. All right. So after that, um, what we know from this picture, we know that Ft is perpendicular to to this um, center of mass right here, and it's creating a torque. That's going to be very important for this, because we know that the um, the torque um, that's it's supposed to be a tau, the Greek letter. I kind of drew a little weird, but well, um, so tau equals um, or the torque is the force of the tension which is this component right here of the the block times the uh, times the radius which is r it's, remember it's just uh, terms there's no actual values and then another key information that's going to be useful you know just how force equals ma and it's um and it's a an rotational analogy for this is Torque equals not m but i, and then angular acceleration. Well, f um, for this particular object, the inertia, uh, moment of inertia, is equal to i um, is equal to i one half m r squared. And this you can just look up on your book. Uh, every single like, for example, a sphere has I think a a, a moment of inertia of two fifths m r squared. So just um, check that in your book. Then um, so what you're gonna do here is gonna solve for uh, for for torque. So we know what i is. So let's write that down. So torque to um, one half m r squared and then there's something you can tell me about this um, this angular acceleration there's a rela very important relationship which is key to solving this problem and that is a over r so the angular acceleration divided by the radius is going to give us the angular acceleration. 
So linear acceleration divided by the radius is going to give us angular acceleration. As you can see, this r cancels out with this r. So you're just left with that. And then see this t? We already know what it is. It's here, look. The torque equals that. So I'm going to rewrite this equation, all right? And that's going to... Tor us. <laughs> so FTF, force of the tension, times the uh, radius equals one half MR A. And solve for um, FT because we're going to want to plug it back to this equation. So then that's going to give us Ft equals, now if you divide this over here, the r's cancel, so you're left with 1 half m a. I'm going to need another paper. <laughs> so take a moment to copy down the, any information you need because I'm going to keep going on a different piece of paper. So then what we just found out. Um, we just found out that the Ft, the force of the tension of the, due to the rope, is equal to one half. The mass of the of the pulley, this this ball thing right here, or yeah, the disc, better said, um, times the <clears throat> acceleration. So we plug that back into, remember this equation that we knew in second law and then we got this, or well, we're going to plug it into that. So you get mg minus one half big M, because that's the mass of the disk, times acceleration equals mass times acceleration. And pretty much here we're on our way to solving this, um, there's not much steps to do this after this. You just add this on the other side. So then you get mg equals one half m. Because remember, um, our alt, our objective is to solve for a, the acceleration of the block. One half m a uh, plus m a. And one thing you um, even though you can't add these because they're not the same, um, I have the same m. You can factor out an m, an a. You can factor out this term, so then you would get one half Sorry, <laughs> sorry for the sloppiness. I messed up. One half m plus m. Notice these aren't these m's aren't the same. This is the mass of the block, and that's the um, this big m represents the mass of the of the disc of the pulley. And then acceleration. And m g. So then just simply divide this over there to solve for a. And m g. One half m plus m equals a. So you know maybe they might give you certain values and um at this point you would just have to plug in the values that you know that if they give if they were to give them to you but this is just a general answer and i hope this video helped you um you know maybe you might have to watch it up some couple of times sorry that it's kind of hard to see because um cause of all the paper and then i switched and stuff but hope it helps all right thanks for watching